great spirit in this uh, in this uh, community and uh, here at uh, on Oakwood Avenue. And of course you're going to have that spirit because you have Francisco and Loli Rico and their whole family and they're at it and you have Philip doing the fundraiser and Lois Ann here who's, you know, in the 1980s when I started my, my kind of uh, adventure into social justice work, Lois Ann was at it and working and just doing great work and of course around the corner you have Marjorie and Mario Calla, I saw them here, so there's Mario over there and you know Mario was the guy who helped over 4,000 refugees make their way to the city of Toronto uh, since about December, January, February, March and he was so busy helping the federal government place refugees that he hardly had a day off for like four day, four months, morning, working morning, noon, and night. And then you know what, on top of all of that, his family was part of a refugee sponsoring group as well for refugees from, uh, from the Middle East. So that's the kind of community we live in. Uh, I can tell you I know of about 15 groups that have come together to raise money for refugees in this, uh, in this, just in this neighborhood here. And that tells us something about who we are. When I look around and I know people from Latin America, from Africa, from, from Eastern Europe, from all parts of the world that have chosen this community to make it our home. And I think that's Canada and Toronto as its best self. And of course we know that sometimes we don't act with our best self in mind and we deport all kinds of people because they are, are undocumented and we make a lot of mistakes and we aren't welcoming sometimes and even there whenever we have a demonstration to say undocumented folks should not be deported or the city of Toronto should be a sanctuary city welcoming everyone FCJ House is there making their demands making their deputations pushing the city in the right direction so you know I stand in awe and yes let's give FCJ House the biggest round of applause ever